Okay, you guys, here is part two on the crashed GT3. I just want to start off by saying I apologize for the last video. I'm new to this editing stuff. I'm not that bad at it. I really don't know why it cut off. There was like two more minutes of footage, so I'll try to implement that into this video. But here's part two, and I'm going to do a few things. One, I'm going to take off the paint protection film a minute because some of these parts are savable. Obviously, you have to take off the PPF to repaint it and all that. And I just kind of want to give some more information on the car because... There's kind of, kind of a lot going on here. So uh, first, let me take this, lower the lift, I should say. It's a two-hand process. So in the last video, I tried showing you guys that this car does indeed run. I saw a lot of people asking, you know, is it not running? Anything wrong mechanically? Engine transmission, the car is fine. Uh, I think I mentioned in the last video, the car needs a passenger front and rear lower control arm, but the car does start up and everything. Unfortunately, the battery is shot, so I have to keep jumping it every time I want to start it. So I'll show you really quickly uh, this car coming off the trailer and... <laughs> As you guys might have heard, all the radiators are on full blast. I'm not terribly worried about it. I think just because it's in an accident and the airbags are deployed, it's playing it safe by, you know, making sure it doesn't overheat. That's just my guess. I'd be lying if I said I knew what the reason was. But as I said, not terribly worried about it. Also, the front lift doesn't work. You saw it like scrape. I mean, it's got to get replaced anyway, so don't really care about that. But once again, a bunch of codes, airbags off. I'm not terribly shocked that the front lift isn't activating. So there are bigger issues <laughs> going on right now, but don't really care about it. But in this video, I am going to take off the PPF. As you can see, the car has PPF and the paint is actually in good condition underneath. So this hood is savable. So I have to take off this PPF because when they redo the hood, they're gonna have to paint it. And I kind of just want to see what the paint looks like underneath. So most of the PPF is up front though. I mean, I'm not gonna take it off the door because there's only a little bit down there. We're going to be using this. Uh, it kind of sucks. I had to take off a bunch of clear bra on my RS3, but it will do the job here. The only panel I really need to take off is the hood. If you're doing a whole car like this, you'd be here all day, but this is more than sufficient for our needs. I'm also going to do like half the bumper, but yeah, it will do the job. That's what it looks like so far. I'm not gonna take off the whole bumper. I do kind of want to take off this section right here, but also the headlight, that's, that's like clear bra. Almost done with the bumper, not the whole bumper. I'm not gonna take off everything, but just this part. <laughs> Look at that bumper. It's so crazy how much damage PPF can save. I mean, if this bumper didn't get completely bent and all these clips broke, I mean, obviously a lot more to it, but I mean, this paint's fine. Completely fine. Some residue left because I rushed to get it off because there's really no need to. Uh, but, wow, crazy. So I am dreading to do this hood. This is a big piece, but let's do it. Man, <laughs> I am gonna be here all day long. So you kinda have to take your time because you don't want residue to be left behind, like on the bumper. We're not reusing that, so like who cares? But for this, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be here a while. So I think I'm gonna go get lunch and be right back. I am going to finish this off camera. I don't want to bore you guys to death, but before I let you go, or this segment, I'm going to take off this clear bra. Oh, this is actually double uh, PPF, which I thought was pretty cool. So I'm going to take this off really quickly because other than that, this quarter panel is probably in good condition. So I think this is track wrap because with almost no steam, it came right off. But look at that mint condition. I mean, it got a little scuffer here, but it's a real shame that this quarter panel is gonna have to be replaced. I mean, it's not that bad, but well, you know, what are you gonna do? So let's take off. Oh, that's not another. Is that PPF? Yes, it is. Okay, one second. It's crazy how good condition some of this is. 
obviously. This car is only at like 4,000 miles, so I'm just going to finish this off, but I need to get the hood off, man. I'll be here all day if I don't. Honestly, man, whoever did this PPF needs a raise because they tucked all the edges really good, and as you can see, it's taken me a little while to get this all out. <laughs> man, my fingers are messed. I mean, I don't know what it is, but you might be able to see it. That's all glue if it zooms in. I don't know what. This took forever to come off. This is kind of giving me a hard time, too. But this hood, man, oh my gosh. It's because my steamer is absolutely terrible, so I just got to keep on fighting, I guess. A lot of people are asking, how am I going to get the parts? Where are the parts? How much are the parts? So I want to talk about that for a quick second. Um, the main reason why I bought the I can lean on it. This fender's messed up. The reason why I bought this car, not the reason, but a big reason why I bought this car is all the parts are in stock. Um, like my E30 M3, that thing drives me nuts. But anyways, like I waited three months for a wiring harness, right? For this, I mean, at most, according to Germany, they're eight weeks away. So, I mean, I'm trying to be a little optimistic, call it five weeks, but if I do have to wait the eight weeks, so be it. The only thing that might be completely backordered is the carbon fiber bucket seat, but I don't need a new seat. I just need an airbag and get it stitched up. Um, and even if it needed a new seat, I wouldn't buy it. But anyways, I'm getting off track. So all the parts are in stock and there is a dealership in Ohio. They wholesale all their parts or sell them for pretty much wholesale. Um, they have very aggressive pricing. As of now, I'm going to go with them. But there is a dealership in Pennsylvania who reached out to me. They were like, man, we love what you're doing. We want to sell you some products at a discounted price. So I, something might happen there. I'm not too sure yet. But in terms of the parts, I don't know. I mean, I have a number in mind, but I don't want to say it because I might get some parts used and I know there's going to be more damage once we take off the fender, the headlight, stuff like that, brackets, etc., etc. So I ordered two parts so far and I will show you those parts and tell you how much I paid and how much I saved. So we will start with the headliner. I found one used on eBay for $599 after shipping taxes and all that, if this ever focuses, it was $780. So you can see where the savings are there. Saved about $2,000 buying a used headliner. That was a huge win. There was only one headliner for sale. And then the other thing I bought was the headlight, $2,700. Now, it's from a different country, so after eBay fees and shipping, it did come out to $3,006. I mean, it's 1100 bucks in savings, I'll take it, but I mean, man, that still really, really hurt the buy. So once the car gets taken apart and everything, I'll have a whole list of you for everything and I'll let you guys know how much I paid for everything, but as of now, I don't want to give you a list then give you another list. I'm hoping that makes sense. So the good thing is the wing's savable, the hood's savable. I mean, those are like the two biggest ticket items. If I have to buy the hood and wing, it's not the end of the world because I would just go aftermarket wing for like two grand instead of six grand for the hood. For the wing, excuse me. And for the hood, that would really suck because it's 10 grand and they're the same price used. So, um, yeah, is what it is, I guess, not the problem. As you can see, it is now nighttime and unfortunately today was kind of a fail. I did get a lot of the PPF off. But I didn't finish the hood or the vendor, the two that I needed to get. I got the mirror off though, so I'm gonna try to show you. Let me flip the camera around on my end. So, yeah, I mean, oh man. So my buddy's coming with his steamer tomorrow, so if we have two steamers. Also, the other issue I'm running into is when I yank the PPF, the hood opens, so I truly do need a second set of hands, or else it would truly take me forever. But uh, clean the M3 today. I kind of wish I recorded that. I was kind of in a rush. But um, I got this thing ceramic coated and came out baller, absolutely baller. So, uh, I mean, next time I'll make a video on it. The next video you'll see on this car, I'm just gonna talk about the MSRP and what it consists of, like the build sheet. I mean, it's kind of hard to mess up a GT3 build sheet, but some people do it. And then I'll tell you guys some of the modifications I want to do to the car. I mean, you know, you gotta do some modifications to it. And I'll finish off the PPF because my buddy's coming with his steamer, so that's it's gonna help so much. And I'll tell you guys who's fixing the car. You'll like who's fixing the car. He is also on YouTube. He's a much, 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 much bigger YouTube than me. Well, it's actually two guys. But um, yeah, super, super excited. I can't wait to share this with you guys. Also, for those who are still watching, for those who finished the video, how do you feel 
about the blue, the bronze, and the red. I like it, honestly, but I love it. And then a part of me, it just reminds me of a WX. No disrespect to WX owners, but when I'm thinking of a GT3, I don't really want to think of a WX. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe paint the brakes blue, but I don't know. Anyways, for those who finished the video, thank you so much for watching. You got any questions, comment them down below and subscribe if you'd like.